coming in here or not? You're not coming in here. What's going on, everybody out there in YouTube land? Movie John here. Got some exciting news, but that stuff kind of messed up right there. Kind of pushed to the side. It's all right, because uh, going to be moving up off out of this room here eventually. That's going to be fun, packing up all this stuff. Yes, I bought a building today. And um, it'll be here in about two or three weeks. And then I'm going to start moving everything out of here so my wife can have this room for an office. Yeah. Um, some things that I do have in here, like my two shelves with my toys, I'm going to probably end up just giving to her because I'm going to put some shelves on the wall in that place. Pretty cool looking little deal it's got like four windows it's got a regular door it's got a loft on each side so i can put stuff up there and storage and stuff uh it's gonna be uh pretty sweet uh it's already got uh, the stuff ran for the electricity and stuff uh like i think four or five outlets it comes out the side and you can just plug extension cord in and plug it into my house that's sweet. I didn't know they made them like that. But, um, and then when you're done, you can unplug it. Right? You don't want to leave it plugged up all the time, especially outside. Um, so that's pretty neat. Um, what else? It <laughs> just got a wild hair up my ass today and just decided to go ahead and check that out. And uh, it's the first one we've seen. I mean, then I looked at a few other ones. They had one that had a porch on it. That was a lot more expensive, and I don't need a porch, but it would have looked kind of cool out here. But anyway, so she's going to get this room. Um, I'm going to put um, some drywall up. Hopefully, don't go too <laughs> too crazy. It does have some insulation and stuff. I'm not real big on um, doing a whole lot of stuff like that, but I'm going to try it out and fix it, and maybe get my son over and help. Uh, I'm going to... Um, Put all my collectibles and stuff in there somehow, some way. And uh, I'll uh, have a setup station for my videos uh, for this channel and my other channel. Um, and it's going to be uh, pretty sweet. I can't wait to do that. Uh, a lot of it's going to be uh, for my other channel because I'm not putting my movies out there because when it's real cold, when it's real hot or whatever, you know, I don't know if I can damage disc or not, DVDs, Blu-ray, stuff like that. So it's all right to keep my movies in here. Um, uh, Rhonda said that's pretty cool. She'll probably put her desk over on this side anyway, near the windows and um, have that back there like that. So she said that's cool to keep the movies in here. Um, and, uh, but all the other stuff's gonna be out there. So, I mean, it's pretty big. It's a 10 by 16. So, uh, there was some that's bigger, but more expensive. And I'm like, uh, for the area that I'm going to put it at, put it in the backyard. I'm just, I think 10 by 16 is pretty good. And with the loft and everything, uh, it's pretty sweet to put stuff up there for storage and stuff. Got to get me a ladder though, for that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, in a few weeks, that'll be in 2024 sometime in January. So I'm looking forward to that. Wait a little while and start packing this stuff up. Oh, Lord. At least I don't got it. At least I don't have to move it real far. So, uh, But we're uh, going to be doing that here next year. Uh, right? We're going to say goodbye to 2023 now. It's been a pretty good year. Um, I got, you know, making more money, doing good there. Uh, both of us and fairly decent shape this year health wise uh been sick with some stuff but we're still kicking it we're not you know that's a good thing you can uh shout about um my daughter was just in town here recently and uh, she just went back home so next year what are we looking for i don't know i mean it would just basic stuff. I mean, I did get into more of a new hobby than I have. I mean, I always had collected cars and stuff, but it was mainly movie-related stuff. But then it, it got a... And I did collect some 
um, monster trucks and stuff like that. So kind of got into it a little bit deeper this year uh, and decided to make a channel and within four months went um, with a thousand subs. I have a thousand sixty one right now and um, got monetized and everything. Can't do it on this channel. This channel is just going to be for like it always has been just for freaking fun just to do stuff for fun every once in a while and share some of my love for movies and toys and stuff like that that I have. Um, the other channel doesn't make a whole lot of money, but it is making some money. And that's the thing. It goes up every day. It's not a whole, sometimes only 50, 60, 70 cents. Someday a dollar. I've even seen a dollar fifty one day. So, hey, that's better than nothing. Uh, so it, I think they don't pay you until you get over a hundred dollars the first time. So might be a little while before I get paid, but at least I know it's going up every day. I got to put a lot more uh, work into that channel to keep more videos coming to make that money from that channel. Uh, not just, uh, just to make the money. I enjoy doing the videos probably a little bit more than I have these videos because I haven't really had a whole lot to talk about or show off in my regular videos anymore because that's what I've been focusing on collecting and stuff and when I get into a hobby and collecting I get into it hardcore baby doesn't mean that uh, I don't still like the figures and stuff that I collect uh, my movies and stuff just taking a break from them right now and um, focusing more on the collecting that I have in front of me right now that you can't see. So if you want to see, you go to that other channel, Doc S. Johnny. I've put a link in the, some of the videos on here before. Probably put a link in this one too. That's enough of that. I, there is some things I am going to have to get rid of in this room. Some things will probably go to my son. Some things I might sell. I don't know. I'm not getting rid of my really good stuff that I really like and collect. Uh, like the figures and stuff. I'll probably definitely be... I just got too much time and collection into that stuff. Or collecting into that stuff. But, you know. I got some posters and things I might have to get rid of. Because I can't put all them posters up out there either. And still do this hobby. And put stuff on the wall. Uh, so. Yeah. That'll be a little different. Um, I have to... Clean out the closet, too. So she'll have more room in that closet. I'll just have to have my clothes in it. And we'll have room to store stuff in the closets now. Because I've got a lot of shit in that one that i got to get out. Yeah. Um, it's uh, going to be fun. It's uh, I like you know doing stuff like this. It's um, something new. It's going to cost me a little bit of money. I'm making payments on the, the uh, place. <laughs> Oh, Lord. I mean, it's probably cheaper than moving right now because uh, I'm going to try to pay this off a lot quicker than they want me to pay it off. They, they give you a deal for like five years to pay on. I don't want to pay on it that long. Save some money on interest and stuff. So try to pay it off at least half the time so you don't have to pay a whole lot of interest and all that good stuff. Um... But yeah, I'm getting a building, man. 2024 is changing up. It's going to be different. It's going to be different. Um, well, I, I probably won't. I might show. I'll probably show it off in a video when I first get it before I do anything to it um, on this channel, so everybody can see it if they want to see it. Um, and um, I guess that's just it's going to be it's just i've got so many ideals already run through my head since i went out there and put the down payment on it today so that's pretty cool um, this one was pre-owned but it's just still in good shape and apparently they said the people that used to own it actually lived in it <laughs> so uh, i was thinking well hell Rhonda says it's cheaper than paying rent around places you know so that's it's just funny to me. I'm thinking, my God, somebody lived in this, but 
we're in West Virginia, man. They, people live in. I've seen a little building like that before where somebody lived in it, uh, and but it's just uh, it's crazy to to think of somebody living in something like that. But I guess it's better than living outside. So I'm saying goodbye this year. It's been a decent year. Um, next year, what are we looking forward to? I don't know. It's just doing the hobby, the hobbies that I like. And I can't wait to flea markets. I'm so, I uh, just it ain't been but two months since the flea markets really shut down around here. I mean, we do have one that's indoor, but it's, uh, it's, they don't really open up the place that much. And it's, not good inside it's one of them where it's it's the same stuff inside all the time so you go to the outside stuff that's you know so i definitely be filming a lot next year in the summertime every weekend hitting the flea market and yard sales there's no excuse i can't i'm off fridays and saturdays and that's just what i like to do in my hobby and if it's with the lady when she's off she can go and if it's not i'll do it by my freaking self i don't care i'll talk to my camera just like I'm talking right now and um, filming stuff because I like to do that. This is my hobby. So anyway, that is just a little thing I just wanted to shoot out there real quick. Uh, hope everybody's had a good 2023. It goes by so quick. It seemed like we just started it and now we're going into 2024. And this is put up before Christmas. So Merry Christmas to everybody. And if I don't see you before the new year, have a happy and a safe new year. This is Movie John, and I'm always filming.